Yo, so guys, keep you chill here, and welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Direct that uh, got released like a couple hours ago. I'm a little bit, well, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like a day late, but I'm, I'm, I'm just like a couple hours late, but it's all good. We still reacted to it, so let's go ahead and uh, react to this direct. Oh, hold on. I just realized, I was wondering, uh, hold on. Sorry about that. All right, take two. Ooh, so exciting! This looks crazy. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just okay. beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Everyone looks so small. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Yo, what? Bowser merged with Prince Florian. Looks so castle. animated. Pretty big. Whoa. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Yo, this looks insane. Now it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Look all you oh my god, Nabbit's playable. What? Okay, that I did not know. Okay, let's get it. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. Alright. This is the Mario Kingdom. World. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, wow. making a total of seven areas to explore. Basically, standard Your like Mario. The adventure begins levels. among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. The music is like the sound effects and all the music sounds so like. Freezing foot of the mountain. Like it's weird. You'll be aiming for new heights. I'm, I'm, I'm probably I'm peaks. like used to it. Many trials it's so we've seen like a new a scenery, Mario Brothers like game. I'm not balls. used to this. After how many years you haven't gotten like a Mario Brothers? Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of hopefully, hopefully magma, these loves get like more. tough. A rich variety they of look tough so far. Each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open That's areas cool. you find. Hey, this gets me off like three world vibes. If you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Oh, okay. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Okay. While in courses, you might Excuse notice me. some talking flowers. Get close and onward and upward. Oh my God, talk! You get up here. What a pretty. Sunset. It looks so. It's just They'll so talk weird that you, talks. Livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. <laughs> wonder if you can get over there. Oh, you share your is it gonna be like a forwarded background or whatever this hell is called? Oh, this I gotta see. This I gotta see. Besides, okay. Oh my God, there's so many characters. So we get Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Blue Toad, and Yellow Toad, Toadette, all the still the Yoshi colors and Nabbit. Yo, Yoshi's Yoshi and Nabbit won't take damage, but they also transform with power ups. What? Oh, they won't transform into power ups. Okay, so okay, so Yoshi and Nabbit are kind of like the well, Nabbit's Nabbit is the usual like Nabbit that we knew from like Luigi U, and I assume Yoshi is kind of the same thing. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Mario, you can also play as 
Luigi. <laughs> Peach. Daisy. Oh my god, so we're seeing Daisy Wallet in this game. Toads <laughs> and Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite okay. or mix it up. The Yoshis and Nabbit the Yoshi. hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easy going You're my experience. like honestly favorite character. Careful though, like favorite, they'll still lose um, a life if they fall down a pit. So Mario watch characters. your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Oh my god, their faces. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when that you reminds jump. That me of, um, what is it, the skip squeaks from 3D World. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position what? yourself just right. Whoa, that's Mom cool. Mamas will eat anything that comes oh my too God, close that to their gaping <laughs> mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, <laughs> Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and other Locky familiar two. foes are also here. Okay. Oh, this this could be interesting. Also, next, let's look at the new. Oh my God. In elephant, elephant. Form, make the most of your nose <laughs> I'm so and done. your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Destroy blocks. I can't believe this is the actual thing. Like, I'm actually this. just, I'm just surprised this is the actual thing. In this form, you can easily break through blocks. We're, and we're literally in 2023, and we get to play Mars and Elephant. Like, if I was in like what, like in a 2000s or something, and I told you in the future, yeah, in 2023. You're gonna get a Mario Brothers game, and you're gonna you, Mario's gonna be an elephant. I'm gonna say, yo, you you want you want son. <laughs> and dash across large gaps. See? Oh wow! If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? <laughs> it's not just Mario. Oh my gosh! All the Luigi, <laughs> the toads. <laughs> Look at the toads. Peach. Daisy and Tidette <laughs> all have elephant no, forms as well. No, that's so funny. The bubble form allows you to blow light floating oh, wow. bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them like platforms that makes it so useful actually bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places just like that <laughs> while in drill form Whoa. you'll get a pretty nifty drill this makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze or you can use it to drill down it also allows you to burrow and move through the ground Yo. In a tough spot, that's dig tank, away. Sorry. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yo, that's oh. actually kind of cool. Wasn't expecting company. I feel like Plus, we've gotten a classic um, fire form. Makes I feel return. like we've gotten uh, a drill before. I feel like. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. In a pinch, bust out a power up. Look at Daisy. Or swap them to better fit the situation. Wonder. Uh oh. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. This is basically like drugs, man. Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting. I'm telling you, changes. this is like drugs. Why is that elephant? Everything's on drugs. Moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. Yo. The terrain may tilt. You can end up in a free fall. How long does this Bubbles last? Might, uh, bubble up. Your perspective can change. What? 
Yo, you might float I'm telling you, this is, this is like straight up drugs. There man. are even wonders where your character transforms. What? Mario might become a Goomba? Oh my god, it's like Odyssey. That, that's a cool reference. Or a spike ball. Or blow up like a balloon. Oh, they bring it back. Uh, oh, back. Always expect the unexpected. I forgot what that from. Um, I know it's a Mario Maker 2, but the that's cool that they brought that back. To normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Do you always get it? <laughs> <laughs> As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with a parachute oh, cap badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while oh, underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Oh wow. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Shoot vines in midair. What the hell? And stick to walls with the grappling vine badge. <laughs> Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bro, bounce that's, badge. Oh, that's OP, Easily bro. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Bro, some of these look OP. <laughs> Draw in nearby Moolah with the Coin Magnet Badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the Invisibility Badge. You will not stop dashing with the Jet, Jet run. run Badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Oh, okay. Some badges okay. can be earned by clearing this special like, this badge like, challenge courses. I have like, there's, like, there's like so much to process with this, but I'm kind of getting everything in, in here. But this is crazy. Like, this is actually sick, though. Go for it. While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. What is that? Hold on, what is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw something. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I saw something. Sorry, sorry, I can't pause. What is this? Is like a checkpoint? What is this? Hm. You collect in courses for badges. Oh, multiplayer. You know, me and my cousin and some friends will probably hop onto this. people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right oh. into action. Your group won't I can't lose imagine, a life um, either. Yoshi's Island and just life. so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back. Oh my god! Ride them around the court. That's cute. Even if you're also playing as That's a Yoshi. That's cute. That's or cute. Or you're an elephant. Oh snap! Oh snap! Yo. Or if you're an elephant. Yoshi's back. Oh, I'm, look at Yoshi's face. Yo, Yoshi. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mario has to do this to you. Oh my god! All that weight. Hey, Yoshi, champ for that. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, like uh, Mario Maker, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you oh, won't wow. be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. This is really sick. You can also place a standee in a course. 
Oh, that's what it was. Standees can revive ghosts. So place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching oh, the goal okay. pole together, and more will earn you heart points. <laughs> While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, <laughs> your courses Excuse together, me. and even this race through certain like, this courses. Is like so much the process, but Start this is a like race so by hitting the race block. A friend race. Then make a run for it. This is giving me so much like Mario Maker vibes. Reaching the goal honestly. pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a Wonder Seed or defeat a boss instead. That and me. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. <laughs> wow. There is so much to go over go over with this. I'll probably make a video talking about like thoughts regarding this. But this is so sick. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, look how big they are. You don't look insane. With Mario and friends. I am so excited to try this. This looks Wonder amazing. It comes out like Nintendo what, two months? October 20th. Plus, a last. new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is also I just on see the this, way. I did see this if on their Instagram. Closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. The Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. I like the Mario Odyssey one, actually. Okay. That was sick. That was a low-key sick trailer, honestly. There's so much to like, go over with Guardian, so I'll probably make a video talking about my thoughts regarding Mario Bros. Wonder and the game like overall. It looks amazing, to say the least. Like, there's so much to go over regarding the Wonder Seeds, the characters, regarding like the items. There's so much to like, go over with this. I'm so pleased with it. It looks actually somewhat pretty good. <laughs> like, it actually looks somewhat pretty like really good. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. So yeah, that was basically my reaction to it. Let me know your thoughts on this. And if so, if y'all like this, you feel me, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. And yeah, I guess, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.